Hi, Les from Thailand. And today's video is going to be about dealing with public hospitals here in Thailand. Are they any good? Now, my friend lives over here and he's been over here now for eight years and he doesn't have any insurance. So he needed to go to the public hospital to go for a checkup. We think he's got the early stages of dementia because he has memory loss. Every day, he sort of lives a groundhog day that every day is the same. Nobody wants to admit that they've got a problem with them and also the fact that how much it's going to cost him to go to the hospital to get all of these tests done and like I said he's got no insurance so he sort of bit the bullet and he said okay then I'll go for these tests because me and his friends have been badgering him to go and get these tests just to prove once and for all whether he's got it or whether he doesn't. So because we live in Rayong we went to the Rayong Public Hospital and we went there and I dropped him off at the, the main gate and I went to find a parking space in the multi-storey car park that was there. Now, the public hospital is always, always busy. So there was like six storeys with these car parks and I got right to the top and there was two spaces left. So by the time we got a space to park the car, my friend had been seen by the receptionist who says there's too many people at the hospital so he needs to go to the second hospital in Rayong to go and see a doctor that morning. So he gave me a call, so they went by taxi to the second hospital because it was going to take a long time for me to get out of the car park. And we drove to the second hospital and we seen a, a doctor there within an hour and a half of getting there. Again, the second public hospital in Rayong was busy also, but we seen the doctor and he said we had to go back to see the neurologist back in the hospital that we were already been to. So armed with the paperwork from the first doctor, we drove back to the original hospital, went to a different department, handed the paperwork in, and sat and waited for the second doctor. Now the whole experience, we sat off at eight o'clock in the morning and we got home at 2.30 in the afternoon. So considering it was a public hospital, the waiting time actually wasn't too long. So he seen the second doctor in the public hospital. She sent him to go and get a, a scan of his brain. So he went and got the scan done for his brain. That was 30 minute wait. And then back to the original doctor who examined the, the CT scan and confirmed that my friend had the early stages of dementia. And that sort, and that sort of confirmed what we suspected. So that was the diagnosis done. So now the, the cost of all of this lot in the public hospital now in the total examination for, for my friend with regard to the doctors, we've seen a doctor at the local clinic here in Banpei and that was 50 baht. And she recommended that we go and see the doctor in the public hospital. Now we rang the public hospital up to make an appointment and they said you can't make an appointment in the public hospital, you just turn up and you wait your turn. So we set off at 8 o'clock from where we live and we got to the hospital by nine o'clock. So once we arrived at the, the main big public hospital, the receptionist said there's too many people waiting here at this hospital. So she recommended that we went to a smaller hospital in Rayong also. And she said that we'd be able to see a doctor much quicker there. So we went to see the second doctor who then referred us to the neurology department and the neurologist doctor back at the main hospital in Rayong. So back to the main public hospital and the neurology department and we've seen that doctor. So the total cost of seeing both the doctors in the Rayong hospitals was 260 baht. And for the brain x-ray, that was 3,500. So for less than 4,000 baht, we've seen three doctors, had a brain scan and got diagnosed with dementia. Unfortunately, for my friend, he got diagnosed with dementia, but now he knows that none of his friends are sort of taking the mick out of him and teasing him about him losing his memory and living a groundhog day every day. And now we can make preparations and make plans for his future with regard to his disability and the fact that he's not going to get any better, he's just going to get worse. Um, so that was our trip to the public hospital in Rayong, Thailand. So. The prices at the public hospital and the service and the, the attentiveness and the care that we got in the public hospital was second to none really. If you'd have gone to the Bangkok Rayong Hospital, which is the top hospital in Rayong, then I think that price would have easily doubled and it would have been towards a 10,000 baht um, range. But 
we didn't do that so we don't know but the public hospital that was the, the cost less than 4,000 baht to go and get all of them tests done and to get the confirmation the same day say that he had early stages of dementia. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.